John was ready to be injected by the program, which was an AI robot program. There was only one human among the aliens who hated humans. The story begins by showing us a barren planet where there was a war going on for many this years. This fight was between two planets in which one team was United Nations and the other team was of this planet whose name was Madrigal Planet. This war was to get hydrogen. Madrigal Planet was a very big source of hydrogen. That's why they wanted to capture Madrigal. But the people of Madrigal Planet wanted to end this That's war. That's why their leader sends one of their men to the Unteam so that he can talk to them and end this war. But the Unteam does not end the fight. That's why the people of Madrigal also that found they out. will attack them again. After this, in the story, we are shown the daughter of Whose the name leader was of Quan. Madrigal Planet. She was looking for hydrogen at then a place. Then she sees a spaceship that belongs to Covenant. If we talk about the Covenant, it was an alien there force. There they were looking for a keystone. It was a key to go to Halo. Halo was a place where anyone's powers could increase. That's why these aliens were looking for that The key. main purpose of these aliens was to kill humans and reach but Halo. But as soon as you touch that key, a light comes About out. About which it was said that it can end the whole world. It was a kind of weapon. Anyway, the aliens come here and attack Madrigal. The United Nations Spartans had also reached they there. They also attack aliens. But they killed the people of Madrigal. Only Quan was left. Here is the United Nations Spartan, in which when their John leader finds was John. out that the aliens had come here to get the key artifact, that's why he goes to a cave here, where he got that key artifact. As soon as John touches it, a bright blue light comes out of it. Then he gets a vision, an idea, where he sees his family, but he himself did not know that the people he is seeing in his vision are his family. Then a hidden alien sees all this here, that John can activate that artifact. That's why he goes and quickly tells his alien master and his name was Mackie. Mackie was a lonely person among the aliens but she hated humans a lot. The reason was that her friend died in her childhood because of humans. And then those aliens saved her. That's why she hates the humans. Mackie tells the alien master here that she will go among humans and bring that artifact. But the alien master forbids her to go. He did not care about Mackie. He just knew that after John, Mackie is the only person who can use that artifact. That's why he could not put Mackie's life in danger. Who will take them to Halo. Once she gets there, the light coming out of that artifact will kill humans. A doctor a nun, whose name was Catherine, tells her leader that everything is over in Madrigal. By the time our Spartan team reached there, the aliens had killed all the people of Madrigal. Our Spartan team leader John says that he has found an artifact there with which he is coming back. Additionally, the leader's daughter Quan is the also United with Nations him. leader says that whatever happened with the people the High of Command Madrigal thinks that everything happened because of According us. According to them, we should stop the Spartan program. We have to talk to the daughter of the leader of Madrigal soon. So that she can tell the High Command that we did not attack them, but the aliens now did. Now the Unsk leader sends her daughter to Quan so that she can talk to her. She says that we did not attack you, but the aliens did. And you have to tell this to all the planets. Otherwise, they will all fight with because us. Because they feel that we have killed the people of your planet. She was ready to agree with them but she has a condition that they will have to free her. Then she will speak in their favor. On the other side, John comes and tells the doctor about that key artifact. He says artifact. that as soon as I touched it, I got a vision. In which I saw a family. When Dr. Catherine hears this about John, she understood. That John's memories are coming back. Why was that? What was John's truth? We will find out in the story. That's why the doctor tells him to stay away from that Next, artifact. John goes to Quan where she tells him that first you killed my mom and you killed all the people of our planet. John says no, it's not like that. I did then he not got kill the order anyone. to kill Quan here. But he does not do that and leaves from there. He had also turned off all the cameras. When the United Nations team finds out that John is not listening to them, then they ask to take him in their control. Because Un thinks if John's memory comes back, he will become a threat so to them. So first of all, their leader reduces the oxygen level of John Quan's was also ship. with her in that ship so that he dies there. The leader puts their ship in auto mode and blows and it up. And also says that they will have to kill John with Quan. 
But Dr. Catherine had changed the order of the leader. She tells the Spartan team that no one will kill John. In fact, they have to In save fact, him. Dr. Catherine had made the Spartan team. She had put such devices inside them that they would only obey her orders. On the other side, the ship in which John was, when John had feels crashed, that he is stuck, he touches the key artifact he had, from which the light comes out. There the whole system of the United Nations was shut after down. After which John and Quan left from there. After this, the United Nations meets the people of the Here, High Command. Here Dr. Catherine tells everyone that I have made a program for the Spartan team, which will give them a lot of help in fighting we'll the enemy. turn them into AI, that by which their robots. powers will also increase. And the biggest thing is that we can control them as we want. On the other side, we see John who had come to a place with Quan. Where his friend used to live. John's friend was also in the Spartan program But earlier. when he found out about their truth, he left the program. This program was actually made by Dr. Catherine. In which she used to kidnap six-year-old children. And blocks their memories. And their clones, i.e. either lookalikes, were sent to their family. So that their family does not have any and doubt. And later those clones died for some reason. When John's friend found out about this, he left the Spartan team. Now John, who had come to his friend, tells his friend that as soon as I touch it, it gets activated. And I also have visions. After hearing this, his friend says that a man knows about these things. was taken by aliens a while ago. But he is still alive. When they go to that man, he tells them that this keystone is like a key. Which can open a door. And the energy coming out of it can end the whole world. Now after knowing all this, John decides will go back to the United Nations and will go and tell everything to Dr. He Catherine. He had left Quan with his friend. So she can stay safe. He goes back and tells everything to the United Nations Their leader team. tells her daughter that you go and find out about this thing. There Dr. Catherine had also prepared John to inject that program, which was an AI robot program. After making John conscious, she puts the program inside when him. When John comes to his senses, he talks to the injected robot inside him. And tells him. him that the key, the artifact keystone, is activated only by touching And me. that's when I get strange thoughts. I don't feel anything. No pain, no misery. After hearing all this, the robot that a tells device him has been installed in the waist of the Spartan which team, which controls their emotions, so that they can be ready for the mission at all and times. And this is the reason you don't feel anything. After knowing everything, John tries to remove the which device was in his waist. He removes the device with the help of the same By robot. By doing this, a girl from the Spartan team had seen After him. After which John goes to the city. After removing that device, he was feeling he everything. He comes back and touches the same keystone again. From which he again gets visions. Here he came to know that the thoughts he used to get were of his childhood. Here he comes to know one more thing. That there is another keystone like an artifact which his dad has hidden in his house. John tells all this to the injected AI robot she inside She understood him. which planet John used to live on. She tells John that the planet you used to live on, the United Nations started a program there, but they failed, and after which they killed everyone there. On the other hand, we see Mackie, who Mackie, had attacked a United Nations patrol ship, so that she could reach that artifact. But she doesn't get anything. She also talks to her alien master. The captain of the UN was listening to her. But he doesn't understand that language. Here the captain's daughter also talks about the Madrigal planet. She tells that the new leader there is killing innocent people. When Quan sees all this, which was with John's friend, she gets sad. Because she could not see her planet being destroyed like so this. So she decides to go back. What she says to John's friend, he also agreed. Now he had reached the Madrigal planet with her. Coming there, Quan meets her auntie. She says that we will have to fight against such people who are killing innocent people on our planet. Her aunt clearly refuses to do this. She says that we can't fight anymore. We can't put our people's lives in danger. After a while, the new leader sent killer came who there. Who kills Quan's aunt? When the killer was trying to kill Quan there, then John's friend comes there and saves her. Going ahead, Quan attacks John's friend. Because now she didn't want to live with and him. And she runs away from she there. She was stuck in a storm. Then some people come there. Who put a cloth on her face and took her with them. When Quan comes to her senses. She sees that they were some strange people. Quan meets a woman there who looked very strange. 
She tells Quan to drink the water made up of the fire. As soon as she drank it, she fainted. She has a dream in which she was fighting with John. John takes Quan to a well where she met her dad. Her dad tells her that you have to protect a door, which is made under this planet. But I don't know what will happen by opening that door. After knowing all this, Quan came to her senses she again. She comes to her senses and asks the woman that I have to From go there. From where everything started. After which she comes back to her dad's house. Where she gets some letters. John's friend also comes there. He tells Quan that the people of Madrigal's new leader are looking That's for you. That's why I came here to save you. Then the people of the leader also Quan came there. Quan and John's friend attack them. John's friend saved Quan. Quan gives hydrogen to John's friend while leaving, and also says that I will definitely remember Whenever you. I need you. After this, we are shown the team of United Nations. There the daughter of the captain was taking the test of all the Spartans. She asks everyone to touch it. But no one was able to activate it by touching it. On the other hand, Dr. Catherine came to her planet with John, where they were looking for the other keystone artifact, which was hidden by John's dad. But after going there, they do not get Only that artifact. Only John's childhood drawings are found there. At the there. same time, John tells the injected AI robot that I want inside to see him. my childhood when memories. When the robot does this, John remembered all his old memories. And at the same time, he also found out about John that John remembered artifact. that Dr. Catherine knew him since childhood. She used to come to meet him. John now goes to the place where his dad had hidden the artifact. The artifact is found. That's why they call the people of the United Nations to take it. John was trying to find out more truth from the AI robot here. But that robot does not tell. Then John touches that artifact. From this, now he started remembering all his memories. John remembers that Dr. Catherine had kidnapped him in and his had childhood. also erased his memories. Knowing all this, he gets very That's why angry. he was going to kill Dr. Catherine now. But the AI robot shuts down John. When John comes to his senses, he sees that the aliens had attacked them. Because when John touched the artifact first, the energy that came Maggie out of it. Maggie had found out their location. But now John tries to take that artifact from here. Then the general of the alien comes there and takes that and artifact. And they had left Mackie there, so that the United Nations team takes her with And there them. she goes to take the other artifact. Mackie is brought to the United Where Nations. John finds out about her that she is also like John. That is, she can also touch the artifact and can activate it. When the captain's it. daughter tests Mackie and John, the she genes finds of out. both have the same characteristics. John goes to Catherine and asks, Why did you do Why this? Why did you separate us from our parents? Dr. Catherine says that I know everything about everyone. But I was doing everyone. all this for the future. I wanted to make a very big Spartan team. John gets very angry after hearing he all this. He had gone from there. And he goes and tells this to a girl from his team. Now John comes to the captain's daughter and says that you test me again. So I can find out about the aliens that were are Here they? as soon as John touches the artifact. It also had an effect on Mackie. They both had reached Halo. After which it is shown that the aliens have attacked a planet. Seeing all this, the United Nations that they will decides. have to finish these aliens soon. Because they were now becoming a danger to everyone. Here John tells everyone that Mackie can tell us the address on one of the aliens. If she touches the artifact then it is me. also possible. The United Nations also agreed to this. After this, John began to like An Mackie. An AI robot goes to Catherine and tells her about now this. Now she contacts Mackie. She says that I know everything about you and John. But yes, remember this. As soon as you touch that artifact, if the you world want, will be I can help you. We will steal it and save the world. But Mackie does not believe Catherine's words at all. She cuts the connection. Now, Catherine tells this all to the team that of Spartan. That John's life is in we danger. We will have to steal the artifact to save him. All this was done on purpose by Dr. Actually, Catherine. She wanted to get the artifact. Their Mackie had reached the captain and leader of the United Nations. She says that all the Spartans have now become your enemies. Everyone is against you. Then the you. captain's daughter comes there. Who tells the truth of Mackie? That she is with the aliens. After knowing this all, they've caught her. Then Mackie remembers all the memories of the past. That's how her friend died because of humans. Mackie comes in anger and touches the artifact. Out of which a lot of powerful energy Mackie released. took that artifact with her. At the same time, 
the people of the United now, Nations John and the also tell them the truth about the program, which was an AI robot program. Dr. Catherine was now trapped, so she runs away. But soon the people of the captain caught her. Catherine is informed that she is sentenced to death. After a while, Catherine has a heart attack and she dies. Here the captain's daughter understood that this was not Dr. Catherine, the real Dr. Clone. Catherine is still John alive. John was also looking for the planet told by the AI Where robot. Where the aliens were. John asks the AI you robot. You were made by Catherine, so why are you helping me? She says me? that I wasn't made to be controlled but to learn. I can't support any wrong person in any wrong test. On the other side, Mackie is who shown. has come to the alien master with the artifact. The alien master tells her to activate the artifact there. The alien tells his companion when that when the door of Halo opens with this the artifact, the energy coming out of the artifact will come out, from which Mackie and the rest of the people will be killed. When Mackie was doing all this, John had reached the alien planet with his companions. He reaches there and kills all the aliens, but one alien who was killing John badly, Mackie activates the artifact to save John. On, from which the two reached Halo. The alien master felt that Mackie has opened a secret door there, where we can talk to the direct god. That alien says that we will go there through Mackie, and we can take God's place. John was with Mackie with Halo. Mackie says that we will not go back, but one of John's companions shoots Mackie to bring them back from which they exit the halo and reach the real world. John had to save his companions along with the artifact from here. But here the aliens attack John again, from which he became unconscious. Now here is the AI robot made to by To save Catherine. John's life, gets full control inside him, who had killed all the aliens, and she had also saved that artifact. Also John's life. Then we see Dr. Catherine who was still alive. She was writing in her diary that humans are not ready for the for which upcoming danger. we have danger. to prepare them. After which John is shown. The girl of his team tries to talk to him. And while showing this, season 1 ends here.